Uh, to that, uh, about Josh and Sebi and Jeanette for inviting me. Um, so to finger in Tabar, I'll just open my presentation. Um, basically, to finger in Tabar is a program um, supported by Massa for everyone who's looking to move to Israel um, and become a lone soldier. Um, Gerin Tabar is a well-known program who basically who's actually celebrating 30 years this year. Um, and the whole, um, how would I say, the whole purpose of going to buy is to create uh, a supportive framework for lone soldier people in their gap year or after post gap year who, and continue gu the guidance building and maintaining a group called Garin. Um, this is few of our numbers, but I guess the best way is to show a short video, hopefully it will look all right um, on the screen, no worries about it. I checked it out beforehand, um, just a second. Um, so basically uh, the participants of Garin Tabal making Aliyah to Israel, which is a bit of a difference from the other programs. And um, yeah, let's check it out. Garin Sabar, ready, set, go. Established in 1991 by the Israeli scouts, 7,400 miles away in San Francisco, one Garin of 20 teenagers made history. Today, you can find people from New York, Chicago, Washington, LA, Florida, England, France, Denmark, Germany, Ukraine, Russia, Belgium, Greece, Italy, Hong Kong, Philippines, Japan, Australia, Thailand, I'm not kidding. First, you need to be 18 to 23 years old, 100% motivated, three interviews, five seminars, at least 20 new friends, 24 letters in the Hebrew alphabet, and a one-way ticket to Israel. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. City or kibbutz, host families, ulpan, seminars, trips, holidays, army preparation, tryouts, interviews, unbelievable three months of one unforgettable absorption process. Two or three years of army service, more than 40 different units, 30% go to officer and commanding course, and one beautiful Garin Zabar backpack. Yahoo! Over 5,000 alumni members, 70% stay in Israel, 30% of families come back, and there are hundreds of Garin ambassadors all over the world. It all adds up to one big happy family. Garin Zabar, family for life. So uh, becoming a lone soldier and basically moving to Israel, it's not an easy, easy thing. Um, people who are moving to Israel need to adapt, you know, to adapt to the language and also um, to the Israeli culture. Um, and besides, you know, every, being a soldier has its own challenges. Um, the program basically provides many benefits like a unique preparation and absorption process starting here in Australia. We basically creating a group of Australians and people from New Zealand who um, building a group together to do this all process together, moving to Israel together as a group and later we'll live together in Israel. Um, we're offering an Urpani Brit for three months, a designated army unit and a, and a fast recruitment trek into the army. Um, a special group experience, it's basically a, family, uh, a second family for you and for your whole life, and a 360 degrees of support. So everything you can think of, both mentally, psychologies, all the help you need with the bureaucracy, understanding the Israeli bureaucracy. Oh my God, I can't even start stressing how hard it is sometimes to understand it. Accommodation that includes three hot meals a day um, and full accountability and subsidies if needed. Um, how we support? Um, so with the army, everything about changing positions, the bureaucracy I mentioned, house visits, um, you know, you deserve lots of benefits and rights because you're coming from Australia as the lone soldiers and, you know, being new Israeli, Solim Khadashim to Israel, we're making sure you get all those rights, all those benefits, and you're making that with, I guess, the best ways, yeah, like your definition is going to be lone soldier, but we're going to make sure you're not lonely. Um, financial helps ceremonies and visits and you know emotional support and understanding your rights um the program has four stages so the first one is a preparation process the absorption period in israel the idea of service and the transition to civic life um i'm gonna touch base about each one of them really fast um the first one is the preparation process it starts here in australia it's an introduction process it's a 
basically an introduction process um, to the program and to what to expect in Israel. So we gather in the group, working on group dynamic. We're gonna do it online. So no in-person meetings until we, the restriction will be lift, um, both you know, in all the states um, in, in, in Australia. Um, but basically the seminars include mental and social preparation. We're talking about many different things um, about the Israeli society, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, about the Israeli army, learning about Israel, learning Hebrew, and getting to know the IDF and what to expect when you arrive to Israel. Um, it's super fun and also helping you with all the Aliyah bureaucracy and everything you need to know about you know, the few first months in Israel. Um, we also, and very important to know, have a religious Gerin option. So if your way of life is religious, um, you have an opportunity to do the preparation here in Australia, but then in Israel, to live in a religious kibbutz, um, in a religious community with religious people. Um, the religious kibbutz keeps Shabbat. It's, we have the best religious kibbutzim in Israel, from Sedelia, Tiratzvi, and Surim, Saad, um, the best communities in Israel. Um, it's Shomer Kashrut um, with a synagogue and everything that you need to take care of. Um, and the only other thing is that the religious Gerin also had like an international preparation process to get to know all the people from around the world who are joining you. It's important to say we support 400 new Olim each year. Um, 100 of them are going to come this December. Um, and the other are going to come in August. So you can choose either you want to do the December Gerin or the August Gerin. Um, the second stage is the absorption process, periklita. Um, basically, you're settling in the kibbutz, the new community is going to be your host family. Um, starting in Ulpanivrit, it's basically the best four months of your life. Ulpanivrit um, hikes and seminars around Israel to get to know the Israeli society a bit better and a bit different from any other program because you really are Israelis or new Israelis. So um, we're making sure you get to know, you know the different sides of the, the society. And then army physical fitness preparation and everything you need to, um, to do before you enlist. So it's a, a fast track absorption process. Um, basically for, I don't know, in Israel, you grew up in Israel, it takes like 18 months to enlist. And for you guys, it's gonna take two and a half months. Um, so it's really easy and we're making sure that our coordinator and two soldiers are gonna live with you, gonna make the best out of uh, those four months with you. Um, so it's really fun. Um, this is how the absorption period looks like. It's a very rough schedule, but it starts with the bureaucracy and then a gadna, which is a week where you basically um, uh, plays as a soldier with the army. And then you do all the tavrishon, starting your Hebrew pan. You have the weekly routine, IDF leadership seminar, Tiyul, like a hike around Israel, high holidays, um, seminars about the Israeli society, and then a green declaration, and then another big Tiyul, and the enlistment. Um, the absorption period include three meals a day and snack. The housing is two people per room. You basically get your own apartment with a flatmate. We're taking care of all the electricity, water, property taxes, internet connection, everything you need to know. You have a laundry facilities. You have full staff um, to take care of everything you need, educational programs, uh, Hebrew studies, as I mentioned, and army instructor fitness, fitness instructor. Um, the living conditions are super good. We're making sure it's the best accommodation there is. So it's up to four people, but basically it's two people in a flat, um, one single bed, wardrobe, aircon, and showers and toilets. Each group gonna get a more club, a more dawn, and you know a place to have the, their meals and also you're going to get you're going to be matched with a host family an israeli host family who are going to take care of you as well um so as i said um modern full equipment kitchen laundry services with security services and maintenance services we are there to support you also through your army service so you're going to get your placement in the idf but then um we're gonna, the framework of Garen Sabah is gonna be there to support you both mentally and, you know, um, with everything you need, as I mentioned, with benefits, right? Just be there, you know, your family are, 
uh, so far away. You need someone to take care of you. You need someone to explain to you what the difference is. You need someone to back you up sometimes or just to visit you when you're closing your Shabbat. This is why you have the Gar'in, the group that we started here in Australia, and also the coordinator lives with you. Um, so you get the support of your Gar'in member and also the coordinator. Um, this is just a distribution of the position of Karin Sabah. If you want, I'll send it to you later. Um, the program requirement. So girls from the age of eight, boys and girls from the age of 18. So if you finish school this year and you want to make Aliyah, this is what this is what you dream of. Um, just um, speak with me. High school graduated, basic level of Hebrew, um, because this is a key for success in Israel. Certificate of good conduct. Prior visit to, visits to Israel um, or life in Israel, participation in pre program seminars. I know that most of you couldn't visit in Israel during year 10 or things like that. So we do um, now allow people to register to, recruit, to the program and do some adjustment because we understand that COVID changed the game a bit. Um, so don't worry if you have, if you want to inquire, if you want to uh, um, join the program, but you don't fit to all the requirements, just stick with me, don't worry. Uh, you will see my details later. Um, the program costs, so we're working with the Ministry of Aliyah, the Ministry of um, Defense, the Massa, with the Jewish Agency, and we're making sure that the program cost is highly subsidized. You basically require it to pay only 8% um, of the fees for the program. So you basically don't even need Israel Go, although Israel Go is the best initiative I've ever seen from the from Zionist Federation in Masai Israel program. And thank you very much, guys, for all the work that you've done so far for Israel Go. So basically, the program costs um, a bit less than $1,900. And as you can see, we already published the subsidized prices. So if you need subsidies, you can pay the subsidies price. And if you need even more help, it's OK. You can speak with us. The preparation seminars here in Australia cost a bit, cost like $300. But again, for those, you can um, ask for subsidies as well. So overall, not more than um, $2,100. Um, yeah, what's the next page? You can scan the QR code while I'm speaking or go to our website, garitsabar.org and apply there. I'm gonna get your application and um, touch base contact with you for a for first um, interview. And from there, we'll start a journey together. Um, you can see my email. So if you want or you have any inquiries, just let me know. And also this um, embarrassing picture which I need to replace. Um, this is time for a question. If you have any question, please let me know now. Um, anyone have, anyone have okay. any questions? Michael, that wasn't a, an embarrassing photo either, mate. You look great. <laughs> um, no, so if not, uh, I'll just thank you, Josh, and thank you everyone for listening. Uh, it was a pleasure. And guys, go to Israel. It's the best time of your life. Uh, I can't stress enough how, how important it is for you guys to be in Israel next year. And um, yeah, just choose right, whatever right for you. So that about Josh. You can stay on for the next couple of minutes or so. We've still got another minute or like a little bit yeah. of time just in case anyone Definitely. does have any other questions. Um, anyone have anything in regards to Garin Sabar that, you, that you'd want to ask? Um, Anything about, I don't know, the door? I know he covered a lot, but any anyone have any particular questions about anything? Toda Rabah, have a blast.